is in Bible school in Benin, Park Bishop Idahosa. One day in one of the villages, he was preaching. And some of the people in the village went to burn down one of his churches. Wow, that's great. These are the people that we need to follow them. I mean, these are pastors that we need to follow them. We will continue, but I want to tell you something. That when you listen to this message, you are totally blessed. Keep on listening to this message, and your life will never be the same. Let's continue. God bless you. And raped the women in the church. And they brought the word. I was, I was sitting there. I was a young guy. I was in Bible school. And he placed his hand on the altar. And he said, Let them begin to fall, every one of them, from the elders to the king. Let them die that they will never touch the church of Jesus Christ. And I was sitting there, young preacher, and I said, this guy, bro, what is he trying to do? Who is he trying to impress? What kind of prayer is that? By Wednesday morning, over 30 people had died. And the king sent a message to the king of Benin to send elders to come and beg and Idahosa said, if the king of Benin or any of his elders steps foot on this compound, let what has happened to the others happen to them. <laughs> Bishop James will tell you. Bishop James worked with him. He will tell you. That was when I learned about the kingdom that, that you know, you don't know. When I went to Bible school, I couldn't read and write. And God said, I didn't bring you here to learn education. I brought you here to learn this man. Watch him. He's your Bible school. And he said, watch the way he deals with the devil. Watch him. Watch the way he carries himself. Watch the way he deals with the elements. He, his, his office and the airport is like from here to the airport. And sometimes he will be traveling and he will get to the airport and the plane has taken off and he will call the plane back and they will have a technical problem and the plane will come back. <laughs> Hear me. Bishop James will testify to this. And when the plane comes back, he will open the plane. He will go inside the plane. And he said, I am Idahosa. I have to go to Lagos tonight. And I have two guests with me. I want three people to come off the flight so that I can bless you and you can wait for the next flight. And three people will come and kneel down for prayers and they will come down and take their seats. Some of his elders took him to court. They were fighting him. They took him to court. They were fighting him. It was a serious case. And last night it was in the news, everything. And he came to church one day. The case was bad. And he said, if need be, let heaven intervene. The judge that was sitting on the case died. Then the lawyer that was prosecuting him had an accident and was paralyzed. Then they brought another judge. He had a stroke. No judge wanted to touch the case anymore. <laughs> the reason why people are fooling with the church is because the kingdom is not here. The will of God is not done because our prayers are selfish prayers. God, bless me. Bless me. 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 Breakthrough. 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 Power. That's why. But if you start focusing on the kingdom, support the kingdom, pray for the kingdom, live for the kingdom, advance the kingdom, and it's about the kingdom. Whenever you get blessed, the first thing you think about is not yourself, but how is the kingdom doing? Today, you know why you have problems in your family? You know why some of you, your children are misbehaving? Because you want your son to become a doctor. 
want your, 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 your daughter to become a computer this and that and that. You, have, you haven't even taken time to say, God, I want the purpose for which you gave my children life to be done. Not what I want, but what you want for them.